What's going on guys? I want to make a video showing this uh, Max Position bag. The one on the left or in the center of your screen is Christina, my girlfriend's. She has the Max Position Aggressor. Yeah. And mine's the smaller bag on the right, which is the operator. I might have future videos um, talking about these bags. I'll certainly show you know what I have in mind. It's kind of like an EDC, B.O.B. style bag. But the reason I'm making this particular video is because Christina's bag, even though it's bigger, it's also more packed and you have a lot more stuff in there. I would probably have to guesstimate this to weigh like 35 pounds or so. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really heavy. Mine still weighs like 20 pounds. Now I, of course, use the regular shoulder strap and I do find that it's, it's a heavy bag. But Christina used to carry, what was the bag you had before this? Do you remember the brand or anything? I don't remember the brand at all. It was kind of like an orange and gray bag, but it had these backpack style straps on it. Yeah, it almost, um... <laughs> I had a regular shoulder strap on it, and then in the back I had a zipper, and you could pull out optional backpack straps if you wanted, which I thought was really cool. Oh, I thought it was awesome. Yeah. So when she switched this new bag, and the reason she got this is because you wanted something to put your laptop in, right? My laptop in, yeah. And because I like my expeditions. Yeah, yeah my expedition makes great stuff. Mm -hmm. So what she did was she created her own back, uh, backpack style strap, which was oh, really, gosh. really cool. So I want to make a video on it. I know this is going to help a lot of people out. I'm going to personally do this on my bag. I may have to get a, a different strap to do this. I don't know if mine's long enough offhand. It should be. Because I'm, you know, taller, bigger. Yeah. So I want to see if it's going to work on mine. But I want to show how she did this on her bag because it, it's really like night and day. Yeah. Okay. I mean, she carries her bag to school every single day. Yep. So it's on her all the time. My bag, it's an EDC bag, but, you know, it's, it's carrying from the house to the car, the car to the house, the house to, you know, wherever else I'm going. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, it's not literally on my person all the time, whereas yours is. Yeah. So if you want to show, you, you yeah, just well. took your regular strap, right? So yeah. So Norma comes with the regular shoulder strap connected on either side okay. with the, um, the shoulder yeah, like pad. The padded part. Yeah. So what I did, like you were saying, it's really heavy. So having all this weight on one arm was not, oh, yeah, was not you're comfortable like at all. You're tilted to one side. It's going to screw I don't have back as, up. Yeah. I don't normally have as many things in here, so it's not as heavy but yeah but it's still it's still yeah. a lot of weight so what i did is i just detached it from one side okay and i fed it through the handles okay so underneath the handle yes and in the front i attached this d-ring that they have on the concealed carry pocket okay look it through like that okay i'm not sure it's straight <laughs> Yeah, kind of line everything up so it sits nice in the shoulders. Yes. Just make sure it's even. Okay. So what are you doing? Line the bottom of the shoulder strap. All right, I see. And then connect, reconnecting it. And then like this. Put the backpack straps right here. That is a and really we, simple thing to do. Yeah, and when you're wearing it, it doesn't flop or anything like that. Yeah, it's no. just, like I was saying, um, this sits a lot higher on your arms. Okay. But the discomfort of having it on one shoulder it's way more than having wearing it like this. So you could probably get dedicated straps to go a clip from here to here and then another one from here to there. But that's awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try this on right now to see to show you guys how it carries and everything and talk about it a little bit more. All right, guys, just want to show you this how uh, it kind of carries. You can see it's just like a standard backpack. The shoulder straps go right over your shoulders on both sides. It's a little bit tight for me. I will probably get a longer strap. I'm just holding her bag right now, but it works perfectly for you. And mm -hmm. it carries really nice. So here's what it looks like. Obviously, it's going to be backpack style as opposed to just over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were to keep this strap normal, how it's how it's on the bag when you get it, you could kind of cross it over like a um, Oh, yeah, and that's like how I'll carry it. Bag. It's even that way. And I short, ended up shortening, yeah. shortening the strap as much as I could to have it kind of rest on my hip. And even then, it was really heavy. And, and you get you get this tilt effect, like Plus, with my bag. the bag is huge, you know? So. Yeah. So this thing this is like the best. <laughs> The best modification you can do to a bag. I know a lot of you guys overstuff your bags, all kinds of gear and stuff. So I thought this was amazing. That's why I want to make a video on it. And all the credit goes to Christina for this amazing <laughs> idea. It's such a simple thing. I don't know why no one ever showed this before, but uh, this is really cool. So I like it and that's it. So we're going to make another video review on both of these bags. We're going to talk about it a little bit. So stay tuned for that video very soon. And I might do a video in the future actually showing everything that I carry in mine. So we will see. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day, and I will see you soon.